Hello, I'm Alan Sim, General Manager of Community Futures Oxford, your small business support center. Since 1993, we have been funding entrepreneurs and supporting community economic development in Oxford County. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted many people, organizations, and businesses in Oxford County. As a result of mandatory closures, a number of businesses were forced to close, resulting in no sales as fixed costs continued to mount up. However, the Oxford Economic Stimulus Fund was there to provide immediate support. $1.2 million in loans, along with $180,000 in grants, were available for eligible clients. Now let's take a look at some of the clients of the Oxford Economic Stimulus Fund. My name is Renee and I'm the owner of Sole Purpose Bars in Woodstock, Ontario. And we have a full line of natural food snacks that have therapeutic benefits for the body. When COVID-19 hit, we saw a dramatic decrease in sales. Um, we had a really challenging time getting our supplies because supply costs skyrocketed. So the Oxford Economic Stimulus Fund was amazing for us because right when COVID hit, we actually moved into a much larger space than we had had before. So they were critical in helping us to have cash flow and move into our new space, as well as you know finding supplies because supply costs were really high. That really helped us focus on our e-commerce too and really kicking that into high gear because we needed to make that switch because a lot of places were closed. Hello, my name is Victor Goñi. I own Rinconcito Mexican Grocery Store. What we do is we sell Mexican products uh, in here in the town of Chilsonburg and the surrounding areas. We opened during pandemic, so we really don't know much of the impact, but however, we noticed we didn't have the traffic or the food traffic that normally you will do under normal circumstances because people were just sheltering as following the guidance from the government. It was definitely a great help for us to continue being open for business. Without that fund, we wouldn't be able to continue paying our staff, paying some rent and just keep us afloat until the pandemic was is over. Uh, so definitely that was a great help for us to continue being able to sell our products and the doors open. Even we didn't have to close because we are under the category of a grocery store, but without that funding probably wouldn't be here right now. My name is Ellis Morris. Um, I am the owner of Red Dragon Dairy uh, here in Salford. We um, manufacture sheep milk cheese and yogurts, buffalo milk mozzarella also. Our business was affected quite a lot by COVID due to the increase of building materials from the time we started two years ago to present day where we've had a sort of 200% increase in some building materials which you couldn't really budget for. It gave us the opportunity to access funds they were in a period of time where we were very vulnerable, I suppose, due to the increase in building costs at a very reasonable deal for us. Like, you know, it worked out very good. Quite happy we took it on. 